Hello everybody, I'm Godot Guru and today we're gonna compare the performance difference between Windows and Mac in Godot. Okay, so in order to test the performance of Godot, I'm just gonna download the demo that they made. So open Godot and go to the asset library and just search for TPS like this and it will show you the third person shooter template. Just click and then download it right here. Once it's done, then you can give it a project name and select the path and then just install and edit right here and just click OK right here. Now it will start opening up the project and my PC does have an M.2 drive but it takes quite a long time to open it, about one or two minutes, which is still pretty fast at least for the first time and for such a big project. Okay, so it finally finished. I just put the time of how long it took right here. Then it's open the level, so just go right here and open the level.tscn right here and it took a bit of time but it opened up and in order to actually show the performance just go to the perspective right here and enable view of frame time now as you can see I'm getting about 180-170 fps right here and my system is uh, 11th or 12th gen i5 and then RTX 3060 Ti and as you can see the game runs really really well I can even go outside and it will go up even over 200 at some points, like right here. But uh, near the core it goes a bit lower than that. And I think we got enough of Windows right now, so let's fire up the Mac and see how it performs. Okay, so welcome to my Mac. I just recently bought the base M4 Mac Mini, and I think it was a great decision, and I really like this machine, and I hope that by seeing this test you will also think that this is a good machine for running Godot especially for the really good price so let's open up Godot right here and I'm just gonna use the same third person shooter to test it just like on the windows mechs are really incredible in speed especially their drives and this drive is about three times faster than my windows machine and the CPU is way faster so as you can see it imports in about 20 seconds I think and yeah it's completely finished so let's open up the level and it opened pretty quickly let's go over and enable the frame rate and as you can see i'm getting about 70 to even 80 frames per second on the main core even higher frame rate a bit over 80 even 100 at some points really good performance and i think this mac is really solid even for 3d games and remember again that this is only the base M4, you can also get the M4 Pro and even the M4 Max on the Macbooks. So an incredible machine and I hope you think that too. And from now on I'm going to transition to this Mac because I just really like it. But Macs don't support VR so I decided to make this little guy that is called Astro. And I hope you like him because you've seen quite a lot in my next videos. So as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!